right, so I'm headed into the store right now. I'm gonna go interview Milo. Milo Yiannopoulos, conservative uh, political commentator. He's quite the talker, and he's got a, a viewpoint that differs at least a bit from mine, so I'm hoping that I can do a good job uh, representing the other side. And uh, I guess we'll just see how this goes. Hey, what'd you buy? You got everything. You got tires, a free coaster, Ooh. cranks, a nice. bunch, bunch of stuff. One fat orange peg. Yep. <laughs> he just doesn't make five. He's very very one. original, yeah. He's actually a construction worker, so that's why he has to hail to oh. all the what is it, all the It's uh, OSHA certified? <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? You ain't got no pegs? Oh, you got one. Oh, yeah, I got three. Oh, you got three? Yeah, got three. Two, two in the back? You might I'll only use one though. You gotta check yourself in the <laughs> hospital. Oh, What's up? Man. How you doing? Pretty good. What are you guys buying here? I got these grips. Ooh, Caleb Kwan. Yeah, Very nice. Hey, you should whip that right wow. here. <laughs> hey, Hispanic women, what's up? <laughs> People are already DMing me being like, you got to watch out with this dude. Like, you got to watch out. He's fucking dangerous. He's going to say all this racist shit, whatever. So I got the fucking world on my back right now. I'm not gay or conservative, but I like you anyway. Kiss me on the cheek. What's up? Jesus Christ. What? What are you Jesus Christ to me? Give me a hug. My hero. How you doing? <laughs> What's going on? What's up, man? Adam. Good, man. Hey, What's up, boss? I'm Will. Adam. How you doing, guys? Let's get a picture together. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I gotta take a picture of you against the wall, too. Hey, thank you very much. That was dope. How was it? What's your opinion? No, it was good. It was wonderful. I, this is kind of a little, little bit outside my comfort zone because it's not my normal thing, but I loved it. It's a great place and, uh, and it was lovely to meet you. Skirt! Hey, thank you too, Dante. Thank you. And we still, we still haven't figured out his sexuality. I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> Alright, so just got done this interview with Milo. Overall, it went pretty well. I've watched enough interviews of his to kind of know exactly what I was getting into. Uh, tried to keep him away from talking about politics the whole time. Didn't work. Ended up talking about all of his fucking wild ass opinions the whole time. He's a conservative, but unlike your uncle or Bill O'Reilly or whatever, he's a conservative that you're kind of like, fuck, well, you know, I can, I can hear him out and respect his voice even if I don't 100% agree with it. Are you a libertarian? Are you a feminist? I don't know if you guys know about this, but Uber Eats is the best fucking app in the entire world. I'm here at my store. I'm gonna keep this very brief. My code is on the screen. You can get like 20 bucks worth of free food. All you have to do is enter that code. I have given out this code on Twitter a couple times, so I have so much free food coming in that I don't even know what to do with it. I'm ordering fucking breadsticks for no reason. So if you guys want to get involved, you just use this promo code. You'll get a free meal. They bring it right to you. You have to live in a major market. If you live in fucking Oklahoma, it's probably not gonna work. Just like that. We out here. Woo! Eating good for no damn reason. Hey, I couldn't finish the food, so um, in the next couple days, I'll be giving away this half-eaten plate of calamari, as well as these fucking oyster shells, which I can I can verify I actually did eat. So, or I okay. ate the surrounding food. You know. What up, boys? So what we do here, we do vlogs, so you guys get to be on No Jumper just because you came in for a few minutes. What's up? Problematic. <laughs> Scumbags. New OSS stuff is available on the website now in case you guys want to get involved. I'm not going to I'm not going to wrap it too hard, but we also got the TCU merch on the come up website as well, so What do you think? Sick. I like that scumbag. Thank you. I mean, you were going to have to lie anyway cuz I got the camera in your face, <laughs> but we made a shirt. It says free Gucci. And then Gucci got out of jail before we could get it back from the printers, so, you know, Shout out to, uh, you know, Gucci Mane for getting out of jail. I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's hurting the shirt's popularity at all. Milo just bought a bunch of them. I don't always do Q&As in my vlogs, but when I do, it's usually because I'm trying to stick a couple extra minutes worth of content into here, so I'm in the elevator going back to my car. Someone said, how did you meet Robesman? Robesman co-hosted on the Drew Millard uh, podcast, so if you want to see the first time that I think I ever met Robesman in real life, or I might have met him for like a moment before that, that's, uh, Evidence, video evidence. Look how pretty. All right, one more question before I start driving here. Um, have you tried to get Bill Nye on the podcast? No, I absolutely have not. But if you know Bill Nye and you have some way of reaching out to him, if he's your uncle or something, let me know because yeah, it'd be great to interview Bill Nye. I just listened to Sam Harris interview Neil deGrasse Tyson on his podcast. So you should probably go listen to that one. That was pretty fire if you're looking for some science content. Uh, favorite alcohol. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mostly drink Jameson because I'm a whiskey fan. 
and then I'll just drink like light beer. I don't fuck with dark beer. Dark beer is weird. I'm not like a huge alcohol fan, so it's kind of just whatever goes down. Would you ever eat a fat girl's ass like a T-Rex? Nah, I reserve that only for the girls with eating disorder. Why do you look exactly like your Twitter picture? Uh, I've had it for like six years, so that is a really, really big compliment. Thank you, I appreciate that. Why are you so old? Um, my age actually equates directly to the number of years that I've been on this planet. When's the last time you told your grandma you loved her? Probably around 1998 when the bitch died. Rest in peace, baby. I know it might seem kind of fucked up to call your grandma a bitch, but my grandma was kind of a bitch. It was funny as fuck. I miss her like crazy, trust me. I would like to at this point mention that I just recently uh, did an interview with Jackie Chain and Gangsta Boo of 36 Mafia. So if you want to hear them interview me, Get your ass over to the link in the description. You can check it out. They played a bunch of songs and stuff. I uh, had Lil House Phone come on and perform one of his songs. First ever sneeze in a vlog. Look at this. Can I eat your ass tonight? No return favors needed. Oh, no media found, no pictures. Okay, I guess I'm gonna let her go. Uh, somebody asked me, how do I get away from debilitating depression? Debilitating depression. Um, I've definitely been depressed before. It's been a long ass time for me, and the thing about depression that makes it not relatable to the rest of the outside world is that it really only exists inside your head. Nobody else can understand why you're sad. And the only thing I could say is that you really need to just force yourself Force yourself to fucking do things that are outside your comfort zone and that you know are gonna have a positive impact on your body and the chemicals in your brain and everything. Like, you need to just force yourself to exercise. You need to force yourself to hang out with other people. You need to go do things. You need to just, you need to get yourself out there because, you know, the thing about depression is that you just develop this, like, completely unrealistic view of the world and of yourself. And if you are able to just go out and just remind yourself over and over and over, like, oh, there's a world that exists outside of my head, then I think that that's probably the best thing that you could do for yourself to get yourself out of a, out of a depressed state. See? You guys don't even know what you want. <laughs> Okay. Should you be able to like, tattoo your whole body? Well, it depends. Okay, if you're my, like, my arms if you're are like, totally tattooed. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Is that a, yeah, you should be allowed. Because, you should be allowed because it's hot. Oh, yeah. To you. Yeah. But some people don't. What is Adam's Snapchat? On some shit.com. It's in almost every YouTube video. It's in every YouTube video description on No Jumper and on the Come Up BMX. It's in my Twitter bio. I can't imagine anywhere else that I could put my fucking Snapchat to make you people stop asking me this. All right, so I'm home, long ass drive in rush hour. I had to park both cars around the fucking block. Uh, yeah, I guess this is where the day ends for uh, the vlog part, because I'm about to do the go out part. And that's the part that y'all can't see. So I uh, appreciate y'all very much for watching this. And make sure you subscribe, click the like button. Make sure you hit up on some shit.com and uh, purchase some goods. And uh, I'll see you around. Podcast, Milo podcast is probably dropping tomorrow, to be honest. So hit that. Shout out to the motherfucker with the Tesla driving the Yay Elon uh, license plate. You are officially the hardest motherfucker in the world, and I'm sorry for exposing your personal information, but you are you are so hard, you snap so hard, that I cannot even begin to put it into words how hard you just snapped with the reference game.